Hi Craig, great to be talking with you again on the range to do some further work on your swing. Uh, just to recap on the session that we had, we'd had the first lesson and discussed the importance of leading with a handle through impact and then the second lesson now is talking about how to achieve that. One of the problems you've come across is that even though you're trying to lead with a handle and you're trying to keep the hands quieter through impact, you're finding it difficult to achieve. One of the main reasons for that is the manner in which we take the body or the club back in an attempt to get the club on the inside, we can see there that the club head rolls behind you, so the club certainly is coming inside. But the hands and the arms are actually moving away from you. Now ideally what we would want is we would want the arms and the body to work together. So the club, the hands, the arms and the body are all tracing the same circle. So if you will, we're making concentric circles here, here and here. And as we see with Hunter May, and as he takes this club back, what's going to happen is the arms are going to work in as well as the club. So as we get halfway back, we can see now that the left arm is in across the chest. So the club has worked back slightly inside, has have the hands, has have the arms, and obviously the shoulders are turning, so that's working the left shoulder inside as well so we're making concentric circles and what we see here is a club that's come inside but arms and hands that have stayed on the line as a result we get a little bit lifty up at the top we've got a situation now where the left arm is in a slightly more upright position than the, than the shoulders and as a result not a terribly strong position to be in if we take a little look at Hunter Mayan we see that the left arm and the shoulders a lot more around his body, right elbow a little bit deeper rather than in front of him as we see with yourself. So simply put, all we're trying to do on the way back is keep the arms straight and work the arms in and we see the effect that this has. During the takeaway now the left arm works in much quicker, club still rolls behind us a little bit, ideally at that point we would like to see the club more in this position but we can work on that as we go like I say your next session could pretty much just be on that having said that at the top of the backswing much better position far far improved left arm a lot lower right elbow deeper legs look like they're in a much stronger position and stable position overall massively improved top of the backswing position on the far right we see now that as we come through We've got to try and almost stop the body to let the arms get back in front of us. And we can see though that we're clearly attacking the ball from the outside. Whereas here we've took the arms inside on the way back. So the arms can stay on the inside on the way through. We look at that position, left arm in across the chest halfway down. And compare that to where we are here. Left arm much more out right in front of us. And if we just continue that down, we can see now that as we approach the club, or approach the ball, should I say, the club is travelling much more from the inside, which is the desired route. And as a result, we don't need to stand up quite as much. We can see here your very armsy follow through. Follow through is the result of your golf swing. If we take a little look at the middle footage now, much quieter with the hands. Arms trace a circle back on the inside into a much more rounded compact looking finish massive improvement just by keeping the arms straight working the arms in keep it up i look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks time to finish off the swing well done